presidential candidate Mitt Romney has once again got himself into hot water, this time after comments he made at a Republican fundraiser were filmed and put on the internet. In the video, Mr Romney discusses the Middle East, saying the pathway to peace is almost unthinkable. A video like this surfacing less than 50 days before the election is an embarrassment presidential candidate Mitt Romney can ill afford. The comments, secretly recorded at a Republican dinner, show Mr Romney suggesting peace in the Middle East is an unachievable goal, with Palestinians focused only on Israel's destruction. The Palestinians have no interest whatsoever in establishing peace, uh, and that the, and that the, uh, uh, the pathway to peace is uh, almost unthinkable to, to accomplish. And I look at the Palestinians not wanting to see peace anyway, for political purposes, uh, committed to the destruction and elimination of Israel and these thorny issues, thorny issues, and I say, there's just no way. And so what you do is you say you, you move things along the best way you can, you hope for some degree of stability, but you recognize this is going to remain an unsolved um, problem. Some feel it's a defeatist attitude that seems to be out of kilter with the ideals of American presidency. And for a candidate looking to gain the support of Jewish voters, that pessimistic spirit and negative message may not be the right way to win votes. If they are hearing Mitt Romney saying, I'm very skeptical of the Palestinian intent, um, I'm skeptical of what they're talking about, you know, whether they're talking about peace or not, I haven't seen them make changes to get to that point then I think he's on very solid ground with a lot of Jewish voters in the U.S. If it's, a, it's not achievable and we're not going to try, that's a different context. Yet with many conservative Republicans sharing Mr Romney's view, the comments are more likely to anger the Middle East than Americans at home. Indeed, much of the discussion in the U.S. has been about other comments he made during the same dinner, claiming half the U.S. was too reliant on government handouts and refused to pay income tax. That's already lost him Republican supporters. The popular New York Times columnist David Brooks has written, it suggests that he really doesn't know much about the country he inhabits. It's what self-satisfied millionaires say to each other. It reinforces every negative view people have about Romney. He's running a depressingly inept presidential campaign. Pollster John McHenry, though, feels it is another gaffe, but one Mitt Romney can overcome. It's probably not that serious. We've, uh, you know, found ourselves in America moving from what was a 24-hour news cycle, and that seemed very hectic, to a 24-minute news cycle with Twitter releasing everything the second it happens. In the full context of the remarks, I don't think that people will be completely offended. Is it the best thing for a presidential candidate to have said? Well, probably not. Some, though, may feel this speech is just one mistake too many for Mitt Romney. Some analysts say these latest comments simply add more fuel to the fire, showing this gaff-prone presidential candidate is out of touch with the country he wants to run and unable to command on a world stage. Many Republicans, even Mitt Romney, though, say that these are comments taken out of context and won't do any damage to his overall campaign. It is, of course, though, the electorate who will make the final decision, with early voting starting in the coming weeks ahead of November's election. This is Nick Harper for JN1 in Washington, D.C.